Let's take a look at some of the focusing options a little bit more in depth that you'll need to know about to shoot some great DSLR video and keep it in focus. So I'm using a remote live view function right now and that's when I hook my camera up to the computer with a USB cable I can control it, I can see what's going on on the screen, resize it a bit, I can change some of the camera settings just as I would on the top of the camera. So we're going to jump in this screen a little bit. It's a little bit easier to understand. These are just things I could do right on the camera. And your software might be able to do that too. In fact, many of the new DSLRs can do this just over Wi-Fi with no cable attached at all. You can even do it on an iPad in some cases. Really, really cool feature. So you can see my focusing grid set up right here, all the different focus points. And right now, I'm in quick mode. That's what I normally use when I'm taking a picture. I can see that the word Sony up here is in focus, but the lens name manufacturer right there is out of focus. So I'm at a very, very wide open aperture right now. So what I can do is I can double click on a focus point. And now we see the word Zeiss is in focus. So we can get rid of the focusing grid just so you can see. And we were able to focus like that. So the quick mode will give me full access to my autofocus system. I can double click on any focus point and it will refocus itself. Now you're seeing right now one of the reasons why this particular mode doesn't work while you're shooting DSLR video because as it focuses it does have to open up the mirror and it stops shooting. It stops the live view process so your video would be interrupted with a blank screen. So this is not really a great mode to be in while we're shooting, although it's the mode I use most often because I set the focus beforehand with it and then I'll adjust manually from there while I'm shooting because I don't like to use uh, autofocus typically while I'm shooting a professional video type thing. I want to have that control uh, in my hands. So this is good to set the focus before you start. A lot of the cameras even will let you zoom up and check it zoomed up and see it really close like a preview window. See if we can do that here. There we go. So you can see I zoomed up really, really close that it looks pretty good. It's in focus, it's crisp. Everything that we want to see is, is where it should be. So that's one of the benefits of this particular quick mode. So let's tr switch out of quick mode and we'll go to contrast base. We'll do live mode. Now you see my focus points disappear. It's not using the focus points system anymore. Now it's just going to use contrast. And it's going to, I can move this little region anywhere so let's put it over the word Sony and let's have it please uh, focus on it. Let's see. There we go. So as you see, it does sort of a push-pull effect. It hunts around to find it and then it puts it in focus. If I want, I can put this over here. Let's look at the writing on the, on the front of the lens. One thing you'll notice about this mode, which makes it difficult to work in, is that the exposure changes when it focuses. Take a look at how much drastically it does, too. You'll see it's going to get, don't look necessarily where it's focusing, look around the camera and watch what happens. So that even though it is, you know, focusing quietly, it's not doing that loud shutter thing, it's not turning off the video feed, it is re-metering while it does that. So the metering changes and you get drastic changes in the way your shot looks. So while this is nice for consumer level stuff, videos of your kids to keep, you know, you're shooting your kids play or something. Um, it keeps everything in focus and it keeps uh, the thing metered. For a professional shot, having that metering constantly pushing and pulling and, and changing while your shot is going on is not something you necessarily want to have. So again, another argument for using manual focus while you're doing this. It's something that you really want to think about. The autofocus thing, they're getting better and better all the time with it but you really can't match the control that you can get with manual focus and a nice zoomed up preview window. So you see this zoomed up view, you can have that on a television next to you, so you have your focus operator really making sure that everything is in focus while you're shooting. So, a couple things to consider.